Sharing the stage tonight will be uh, Rick Santorum. Rick Santorum, who you'll recall, compared uh, gays, uh, I guess a gay relationship with that of a man on a dog relationship. Or man under a dog relationship? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Man behind dog relationship. Man behind dog, man before dog, man. I don't know. It's complicated. Now, uh, but before you get the impression, oh, fair enough. I just got an I am. Uh, Paulson was not on laughing. He was on Smothers Brothers, which makes a lot more sense. Smothers Brothers is actually an extremely uh, political show. And in fact, probably got canceled because Nixon had a problem with it. Um, so, uh, Rick Santorum realizing that the days when Republicans could win simply on an anti-gay platform, nationally speaking. Of course, uh, an anti-gay platform is probably a great way to, to win the Republican primary. But not so much uh, the general election. Rick Santorum <coughs> repositioning himself, as it were. Um, Let's hear him uh, talking to Don Lemon. I guess Don Lemon recently came out too. Oh, I didn't know that. I think so, right? Didn't? Uh, yeah. I Don, mean, I'm not. I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm no, not Don outing Lemon, anybody. No, I, he I came out. He I don't even out. know who Don Lemon is, other than the first time I ever became aware of him was when people were tweeting that he had came out. Yeah, he came out recently. Uh, so it wasn't so much a shock for me because I had no idea who he was. <laughs> and um, so Don Lemon's asking uh, Rick Sam Torum some questions. Remember, this is a man who has equated a gay relationship with uh, bestiality. So the thing to, he to think about when you hear this clip is not that Rick Santorum is trying to do a, um, he's trying to switch positions, as it were, or that he's flipping to some other perspective. The, the thing to think about is who are the people he's talking about? And what do they think of themselves? Okay, play this clip. Do you, and, uh, do you have any gay friends? Yeah, in fact, I've had, I've had gay people work for me. Yeah, and friends. Yes. You know, people say I have black friends. I, I well, <laughs> I, I mean, yes, I, in fact, I was with a gay friend of mine just two days ago. I mean, so yeah, I Hold do. Hold on, stop I, it for one second. They, the best is, is that he, Santorum almost caught himself here he, he, <laughs> by saying, like, I have black friends too. But uh, then he realized, like, wait a second, I better not. Better not go there, because uh, I'm not sure. I gotta double check and see who's working for me. I like how he said he was with a gay friend just a few days ago. Yeah, he was with. All right, let's re let's rewind it. <laughs> well, look, you know, again, it, Rick Santorum is, uh, well, I don't want to say certainly not gay. Um, I don't know. I mean, presu he's presumably straight. I mean, I was gonna say he's married, but that has been the prerequisite <laughs> of almost any gay legislator is to be married. Uh, to a woman. But th that's not so much the issue. And, and in fact, I do rem recall that uh, Rick Santorum, I think, had a gay chief of staff. Um, but just think about that guy that Rick Santorum was with two days ago, his gay friend. Um, and just how much well, let's just listen. I was with a gay friend of mine just two days ago. I mean, so yeah, I do. I, and they, they respect that I have differences of opinion on that. I talk about these things in front of them and, and we have conversations about it. They differ from me, but they know that I love them because they're my friend. So he also talks more about that. He says, in fact, he's not a homophobe. No, he's not a homophobe. He's not afraid of gay people. He just thinks that they, uh, th they, their, th their sexuality is such that it would be like having sex with a dog. Who are these? Who are these gay friends that say, you know what, Rick? I respect your opinion that you think my my relations are like gay sex or like sex with a dog. Right. I, I respect the fact that you think I'm a second class uh, citizen and that I um, fuck animals. Like what I do is like bestiality, is like. Um, some type of rape of, uh, of animals, I guess. Unless you could find a willing, I guess, animal. But I mean, can, a, can an animal really give consent? I mean, what, what is going on in that person's mind? Other than like, 
Well, it's either one or two things. I hate myself so dramatically that I am willing to subject myself and be friends with someone who, who thinks that I am fundamentally screwed in the head and am engaging in something that is uh, reprehensible. Or uh, I need to make some money. And uh, I'm giving this guy a cover. I, I, don't, I, I just don't understand the mentality. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's like a like a like a Sonder, a Sonder commando. It'd be even worse because, you know, at least in the um, the context of the Holocaust, uh, Jews who would be complicit with those that thought they were like dogs, at least had, um, and at the very least, and and for many it was probably true, like their their own survival and at stake. If you're friends with someone who thinks that you should be a second-class citizen uh, or that you uh, engage in bestiality or what you do is like engage, then you, you really uh, have some self-esteem issues. <laughs>